Yep. We're live. Live? Alright. Is it, um, ad though? Yeah, it's an ad. That indicates that it's live. So. Um, alright, we'll just wait a second then for the, the ad. People? If only Turbo didn't cost so much. Only what? If only Turbo, turbo the, the yeah. Yep. All right, I think that's long enough. Okay, welcome mm -hmm. everyone to the Four Guys of Quarters podcast, episode twenty-two for December nineteenth, two thousand fourteen. I am Inferno two one seven as always. Well, actually, I missed an episode, but I'm usually here. Uh, we've got our usual cast of characters plus one this week. Uh, we have a little bit of substitution that will be semi-permanent. Um, we've got clowns this week. Up. Oh. Yo, what's going on, everybody? Uh, he may be changing his gamer tag for me to call him by something else, but that hasn't <laughs> happened yet. We've got <laughs> we've got Turtle back with us. Hello. Up. Oh. Uh, we've got DPCI Assassin, of course, looking Hi. very festive this evening. Oh, oh, oh. oh, you're a sick fuck. Um, all right. <laughs> so before we begin, let's just get a few things out of the way. Actually, only one thing. Uh, let's give a shout out to our advertising partner, XboxCulture.com, where Turtle comes from. He's <laughs> fist bumping over there, as you can see. Uh, they have really cool uh, news articles, a nice forum over there for uh, you guys to interact with other Xbox lovers alike. Um, they have their own unique staff written reviews. They have um, some interviews with game developers that are pretty cool, written and video. And um, they have giveaways. So this month's giveaway, you have uh, just under a couple weeks to get in on it. So I'll tell them what it is. Um, I'm having a little bit of a brain freeze. I will have to pull that up. All right, I will tell them what it is then. I thought okay. I thought the ambassador from Xbox Culture might want to do it, but uh, I guess I'll do it. Um, the first place prize is any newly released sixty dollars retail game. That's um, it. Second place <laughs> is fifty dollars to LeapTrade.com, which is a cool little site to um, buy and sell used games primarily, but it works a little differently than eBay and sites like that. So check that out if you're interested. And the third place prize, I believe, is $25 credit. So, mm. so that's that. Uh, thank you, Xbox Culture, as always. Um, okay, so let's just go into our press start feature, as always. And this week, I figure we would start with me. I've been playing... What have I been playing? A lot of Forza Horizon 2. We just got the new DLC, the Storm Island DLC, which we'll be talking about a little bit later. Um, I've been playing some Halo 5 beta, which we'll also be talking about. I've been playing some, what else have I been playing? A little bit of Evil Within, not really. Um, The Crew, which is god-awful. We won't talk about that on the show, but, uh, <laughs> Turtle's a lover of, of The Crew, so he's kind of shaking his head over there. Do you, wanna, do you want a few seconds to defend it, Turtle, or? No. Yeah, of course not. <laughs> okay. I don't feel like starting any arguments. Nice, nice. <laughs> All right, well, that's what I've been playing. Um, Sasson, what have you been playing? Um, some Forza Horizon 2, some Minecraft. Um, what else? Oh, can't forget about this. A ton of Destiny. Oh, yeah. You've been, you've been on the other side for Destiny now, huh? You've been, yeah, I, I, I've... I've you become no a you become a little addicted to Destiny all of a sudden? Uh, uh, a little bit. <laughs> just, just a little. A lot. Um, it's, a it's a sickness, really. And then well, the crew. Uh, you were playing the crew. Oh yeah, the <laughs> uh, the crew beta. Um, nice. And uh, yeah, that's pretty much it. Clowns, what are you been playing? Uh, a lot of Dragon Age Inquisition. Kind of hooked on that, like Assassins now stuck on Destiny. Can't get him off that thing. Every time I talk to him, it's always like, hey, you want to do the dailies? Hey, who wants to do the dailies? Nope, playing Dragon Age. That's my dailies. Nice, nice. Yeah, Assassin's been stuck on that. 
We gotta get him back off that shit. Um, Turtle, what have you been playing? Um, the crew, and let's see. Started playing the Halo 5 beta today after taking forever to download. And see so what else have I been playing? I've been playing a lot, but it's too many to name. That's true, yeah. Turtle just got his early Christmas gifts. And what'd you get, like six games, seven games? Yeah, like that? Seven it was games? Six. six. The games. crew, it was the crew, Shadow of Mordor, Walking Dead, Seasons 1 and 2, Dragon Age Inquisition, and NHL 15. What a haul, huh? Jesus. Congratulations. Thank you. I'm probably just going to get socks <laughs> or something. <But laughs> that's alright with me, because I've already got enough games. i got too many games, actually. Um, so yeah, that's press start. Quick enough. Um... Alright, so we're going to start this week with some Minecraft big news. There's a few topics to talk about from Minecraft news this week. Three to be exact. So we'll start with um, first order of business, the biggest one, I'd say. I'm going to go ahead and say it's the biggest one. Um, you may say it's not, but I think it is. Um, the update. So the Minecraft 1.6.4 update came out for Xbox One and 360 only, so not to PlayStation quite yet. Um, so that's probably the uh, the work of the exclusivity deal, Microsoft buying out Mojang, but I won't speculate. Um, so Assassin may be the most apt to tell us what exactly that update really did for us, so can you maybe give us a few examples or talk about um. that a little bit? I don't know the, exactly every little simple thing that came out, but the things I do know, they uh, the, for the <laughs> mobs, they added the horses, uh, some cave bats, which don't really do much, but they're cool just to fly around and stuff. Um, wither skeletons, which is found in the nether, and then the wither, which is a new boss, kind of like the ender dragon, but uh, doesn't need, it's not its own little world, you can make it wherever you want. Um... They, what else did they add? They added some redstone things like uh, a, a chest that you can like booby trap. I forget the exact name for it. Uh, the hopper um, and some other redstone crap. Um, the zombies and skeletons can spawn with armor, which is annoying sometimes. Especially when... See, they're already hard enough to take down for me. I mean, I suck at Minecraft survival, but... Yeah, you know, like sometimes, like on the PC, I saw this whole zombie with cold armor, and just like, are you kidding me? Like they're they're hard to take down, and then especially if you find a skeleton with a, a flame bow, I mean it's just extra annoying. And then when you kill, uh, some of these mobs, they'll drop, you know, swords and you know just random loot. Yeah. Um, it's all randomized, so you don't you could get something to nothing. Um. And I, I believe that's a uh, black of coal, I believe, and I, I believe that that's most of it. On oh, witches, and then the witch house, and the, this, whatever. It sounds like it's slowly starting to the console version is slowly starting to catch up with the PC. Yeah, the PC probably had. I mean, you know, they have the infinite worlds and you know all those mods, but I, it's very close. Very close. Yeah, but this is 1.6.4, right? Um, isn't isn't the PC like a 1.9 or 8 or something? So it's still it's still quite a bit ahead, no? I I think right now it's at 1.8.1. Oh, 1.8.1. Okay. So um, yeah, we still want to do a uh, community game night with followers and stuff. So I think this is going to be the first game we do it with since we all have this and um, it's getting frequent updates and seems to be. A pretty seamless online experience, unlike a lot of games these days, for some reason. Um, but, yeah, this update came with a bunch of cool features. My favorite feature is the horses. I want to check that out. Especially the ones with the sack on it, so that you can put the items in it. I think that's really cool, because I find myself running all over the place looking for the chest that I put shit in. And now I'm just going to have that horse with me. Um, <clears throat> what I don't understand is, how do you tame the horse? Um, carrots. You just, are you sure it's carrots? I think. I think I I know when I first saw a horse, it said to ride on it, 
I don't know if with the PC is different right now, but I know you just have to write on it. But you need a saddle to actually <coughs> bring it with you. Um, I know there's a specific item. I don't think it's in the Xbox, but you can put like a little leash thingy on it and then tie it up to like a wooden pole yes. or pole. I'm I don't know about that. Wait, are there even carrots in Minecraft? Yeah, there's carrots. Okay, I they think have before it was apples. Um, no, there are carrots. I know before carrots were added to the game, I believe it was apples that you used. I mean, that makes sense. Um, yeah, I'm going to check out the horses, and I'm going to check out the fireworks, because the fireworks look kind of cool. We're showing a little bit of that in the uh, slideshow mm -hmm. here. Um... But the fireworks aren't a temporary thing, right? That's going to be always in the game? It's always in the game, yeah. Really cool. Yeah, fireworks started out as a mod for the PC, and then it became permanent. Cool. Alright, so I think that's it for the update. Um, yeah, so only for Xbox consoles right now. Coming to PlayStation consoles in the near future, I'm guessing. Um... Yeah, we'll have to check this out a little bit more. Assassin's been checking it out mostly. Wow, you haven't played it at all, have you? The new Minecraft? Yeah. No, I haven't. Um, but as soon as my daughter finds out about those horses, she's going to go nuts. <laughs> Split screen. <laughs> yep, yeah, there you go. Um, is Minecraft how many players? Just two on the same console? Or is it four? No. Four. Wait, I do got one question, Assassin, about the horses. Yep. If I had a farm of horses, you couldn't kill them, right? <laughs> I could blow them up if I really wanted to. That's oh horrible. I, I gotta protect it. I gotta protect my territory. Then I'll kill you. Uh, anyway, so the backstory on that is assassin blew up clown's farm back in the day. I did not blow Minecraft it up. A creeper physics. blew it up in the water, and Minecraft physics say that once <laughs> there's TNT or a creeper in the water, it should not blow anything up. Yeah, a creeper named Assassin. Oh my god. Pretty much. Oh, a creeper, little green thing that goes up and goes, and then boom. Not, <laughs> Hi, I'm Creeper. Boom. You blame it on that. <laughs> I had proof. I had proof. Uh, Alright, anyway. Let's go on to the next order of business. The next biggest item uh, in the Minecraft world is the new Telltale series. Uh, Minecraft Story Mode, I guess it's called. I think that's the title they're running with right now. It's coming early 2015. And I'm sure it's going to be just like any other Telltale game out there. So, it'll be brilliant. Turtle is shaking his head. Why won't it be brilliant to you? I don't know how they are planning to make a story mode out of Minecraft. Out of a game that has no story. It's it's simple, really. I've seen so many YouTube videos that people created their own story. The Telltale could do anything. I mean, unlike Borderlands or Walking Dead, their you know, their imagination can run wild and build their own little thing. I suppose it is possible with a game that has no story to just create a story. Exactly, yep. that's the whole genre well, of Minecraft. I wonder if you can bring anybody in that story with you, because it'd be amazing if uh, Assassin's uh, viewer went into that story with him. Uh, are, we talking the about, one that, are we talking specifically about Garrett? Or? The, the one that helped him plant the uh, uh, flags all over no. the Oh, yes, yes, oh, yes, no, yes. No. No, I don't think it's going to be like that. I think they... It was a Flash video, so I couldn't rip it for the podcast, and I didn't want to, you know, use anything that was you know, protected by copyright, really. So I didn't rip it, but they do have a video on either Telltale's blog or Mojang's blog showing about what a little bit of the gameplay was, and it looks a little awkward to me for a Telltale game, but people are just going to eat this up. Let's just be real. People are going to eat this up. Um... If it were, is it, you think it's just going to be five bucks, just like the normal Telltale series games? Five uh, dollars an episode? Yeah. Five yeah. episodes of this crap? Whew. I won't be getting it, I don't think. I'll I won't. It. I'll probably watch you know, the playthrough on YouTube. Just because it's Telltale, and I love their stuff, I'll probably be getting it. 
Yeah? I yeah, mean, I, I like everything they've done. I like I like everything, mostly everything they've done, too. Um, Game of Thrones, I can't really get into. I mean, Assassin did a good review. We'll have that up uh, pretty soon. And there's a review on Xbox Culture about it. And both of them like the game, but... I don't know. I feel like this is going to be a miss for them, because... The whole point of Minecraft is you develop your own story. So now it's going to be... I think if Minecraft came out and you had to play a story... You know, if, if the original Minecraft came out and you had to play a set story with the same gameplay as Minecraft has now, it would be boring. Well, it depends. I mean, uh, it all depends what they're going to stick in there. Yeah, that's true. I mean, I guess we got to wait. But Telltale is excellent. Go ahead. I'm just I'm just worried that Telltale will eventually just lose their touch by making series out of everything. Yeah. Like they started out with what was it? Walking Dead was their first big hit, and then what was after that? I don't keep up much with uh, Telltale Among series. Us. Among Us. Yeah, there was that, and then it's like now Minecraft. Like, what's what are they going to make another series out of? Madden, the Telltale series. <laughs> um, yeah. See, everything else they've done is had a set story. Now they're gonna have to make genuinely make something like the whole world up. Like Tales of the Borderlands, I played that. I played the first episode. I thought it was excellent, but they had a little bit of backbone to work with. With this Minecraft. I feel like they're not going to have anything to work with. You know? I feel like they're going to genuinely have to make up the entire thing. Yeah. But, I don't know. I guess we'll see how creative these guys are, because yeah. other ones, you know, Game of Thrones, they had the person who made the Game of Thrones series help make the game. So we'll see how creative these guys are, since they didn't really do much creative. So Story while once. a killer in the uh, chat says The Walking Dead was amazing, I cried. <laughs> okay. <laughs> well, I mean, a lot of people thought it was amazing. So I can't knock it, but... Um, and the Borderlands one, you're right. Diabolic was good. So, I mean... We'll, ju we'll just have to see, I guess. Um, Alright, so I think that's it for Minecraft. Well, the Doctor Who no, starts. it isn't it. Thank you. We have the Doctor Who skins volume two. So what's that? Just fifty skins from the show that weren't in the first volume. Mm -hmm. Ninety nine, right? We have a slide. Available right starting there. yesterday. Yeah, so it came out yesterday for Xbox three sixty and Xbox One exclusively for now. Um either any of you guys gonna be picking this up? I won't be. I don't do Doctor Who. No. I don't do I don't do Minecraft DLC at all. You don't, My you question: don't. What are they thinking with this? I mean, Doctor Who. It's Minecraft? popular. I guess it's pop. Dude, it's popular. I guess, I guess it's the first sell. one. The first one must have done well enough for them to do it. Like, they had that first one that came out not really too long ago. So, I agree with you, clowns. It, for me, I'm just like, what are you guys doing? But I mean. Fascinating. You no. get, you're not going to get this, are you? The Doctor Who, no. I don't know anything about it, but, you know, if I was a Doctor Who fan, it would. Sure, I would be picking it up. Yeah. Just okay. like the Star Wars ones, I picked them up right when they first thrown out. That's true. That's true. And we thought the Star Wars ones were so awesome, so. I mean, I guess for Doctor Who fans, this is kind of cool. 50, 50 skins, I think. So, 299. Go check that out now. Um, yeah, so I think that's it. Minecraft, right, Assassin? Yeah. Alright. So next, um, we've got a little section here about some early access games that we have gotten our hands on. Uh, the first of which we'll talk about is an indie game that will be coming to Xbox One officially in February as a Games with Gold title. So it'll be free. Um, it's called IDARB. Um, I can't remember exactly off the top of my head what that stands for, but Turtle knows. Turtle? Uh, I believe it is, it draws a red box. Something like that. Something like that. Um, 
So, the developer and publisher Other Ocean hooked us up with a um, with a copy. So shout out to them. And I know uh, our friend on Twitter. Uh, is it Mike J Micah? Or is it Micah J? Yeah, Mike J Micah. Um, retweeted our post today. So shout out to him for uh, checking that out. But um, how do you explain this game? I don't even know how to really explain that. It, you it's know, kind of like a soccer game, like 2D soccer on a platform, like platformer. Pause, what, are you, what were you going to say? To me, it's like a throwback to the old, you know, like Atari 2600. Um, and it just mixes a whole bunch of that type of pixelated graphics into this fun half soccer, half like basketball, jump around. 2D style game. I, it's the creativeness behind it is just amazing. I gotta say, I love that game and played it all the way through. Um, and I couldn't stop playing it. So um, we got a video here. Turtle provided us of some gameplay of the story mode. There's actually a story mode. It's not just you know mundane game after game getting old kind of thing. There's, there's a story mode with characters and an actual like dialogue and everything. It's cra- it's kind of crazy and. The gameplay is crazy. Um, the only thing I don't like about it, I, and we've talked about this off air, is that the multiplayer is only 1v1. You can't make an Xbox party and bring f- eight buddies into a game and do four on four, or even four buddies into a game and do two on two, unless you're doing couch co op. Um, what do you guys think about that? I believe multiplayer will be added in in the future. Like, Four v four, like not, like local, not being acquired. Yeah, I I, th- I think it should be. Um, I know that on the blog on the on their website, they have expressed a lot of interest in um, expanding the game. That this isn't what you get in February or what we've gotten in December is not nearly the final product. It's going to be constantly expanding. Really? Talk. What? Really? Yeah, that's what they said on the on the. Um, <clears throat> on the blog. Um, I don't... Let me see if I can find it really quick. But it's in there... Specifically, it's in there, um... they like, FAQs mm-hmm. on the website. Um, um... I'll see if I can find it as we're talking about it. But yeah, um... It's really crazy, and... I mean, this is just another another simple indie that's come into a next gen system. It's really been, you know, this this next these next gen systems have been flooded with indies, and they've been simple like this, but they've been incredible. You but know? I think I think what's special about this game is how community based it is, with uh, being able to create your own characters, and instead of uploading to like a community server. You share QR codes. Oh yeah, so explain a little bit of that. You made your own character. Tell us mm-hmm. how easy that was. It was really easy. I have an in-game creator. You can create characters, songs, logos, and even assemble your own team. And there's also a web-based creator on the website. And whenever you create this character, all of the data is stored into a QR code, and you take that QR code, you like if it's on your TV, and take a picture of it with your phone, and uh, like just send it around to your friends, and they can scan that QR code with their Connect and put your creation in their game. Yeah, I think it's really cool. I think it's really interactive. Um, I've yet to try it, but I'm going to. I'm not quite a pixel artist myself, but um, I'll definitely give it a go. Uh, Clowns or assassin? You guys made a character yet? No. Yep. You did? You made a character? Uh, assassin, what'd you make? I'm not telling. It's gonna be a secret. It's gonna be stupid, and everyone's gonna laugh. <laughs> <laughs> oh god. Mm. I made a Ninja Turtle that you can find on my Twitter. Oh yeah, that's right. Yeah. Mm-hmm. I was actually not too bad. You said you weren't an ape at Okay. Hey, this ability of our little play for us. Let's go! It's all in the reach, 
supposed to mean what these are called hash bombs. And I've been posting them on their Twitter page, and you can find them in the in game help. And I can get to the in game help, it's like a list of what I don't really want to do with any other new articles for special support. And, um, but it works on both Twitch, and you can also use Twitter to tweet at the game. Look at the chat. Hold on. Ah, I gotcha. I gotcha. Okay. <laughs> No, it shouldn't be playing through. I don't know why it's playing through. Whatever. I don't know why the video plays through. Sorry about that. Um, I don't know why the video was playing. Why they got it was playing through. Basically, we were talking about how you can use Twitch to screw around with people's games. Sorry that didn't come through. I don't know why the audio keeps coming through even though it's turned off. Um, I think it's probably cool. that's that's probably my fault. I forgot to mute the audio on no, those no, videos. No, I, I have. I could screen cap it. I have the volume all the way down. Um, I don't know. I don't know. Anyway, I think that's all we've got about iDub. Um, it's supposed to be a Games of Gold in February, so look out for that. And um, it's definitely a fun game. You should definitely pick it up, especially since it's going to be free. I wonder how much it's going to be after the Games of Gold period, though. Most of the games uh, are 15, but I wonder what it's going to be. This seems like a 9.99 type of game. This we'll think? find out. What do you think, Assassin? Um, I'm I'm going to guess 10 bucks, but I mean, if games like Defense Grid are 15 dollars more, and they're simple just like that, who who knows? Yeah. I want to say no more than 50, 20 if they're going to be greedy. Right. Anyway, so that's iDob. Definitely check it out. I'm sure when it comes out and um, we can talk a little more about it and we get some epic battles going, we'll have it again on the show. But, um, yeah. All right, so the other early access game we just got our hands on just a few hours ago was, um, was the Halo 5 multiplayer early access beta so um, if you are a uh, preview program member for the Xbox dashboard experience you will receive or have received a message to your messages from Xbox Live saying that you can download the beta right now and it's only gonna last for this weekend right it goes to the 21st so, mm -hmm. um, Normally, um, they, well, actually, they're gonna, the scheduled beta that they had, um, is from t the 29th until, I believe, the 16th of January. Could be a little earlier than that, but, um, this is basically the beta before the beta, so they can test out the servers and whatnot. Um, but what have you guys thought so far? Okay. Follow Duty Ripoff a little bit? Maybe. I was just going to say, I got to say first that I hated the multiplayer in the Master Chief Collection, but am actually enjoying the multiplayer in Halo 5. Alright, let me, hold on, before we say anything more, for some reason the video reset. Don't say anything. Why did that happen? Very weird. Alright, I need people to tell me in the chat if they can hear that Halo video. Because they shouldn't be able to. See if I fix that situation. Mm, I don't hear anything. Okay. Alright, we'll just talk as if we are able to uh, not have the Halo video audio or whatever. 
So this is Turtle playing a little bit of the multiplayer. As you can see, the movement's a little different. You can look down the sight and everything, um, which is really different for a Halo franchise. Um, <coughs> Tassin, you said you didn't like it. No, I did not. Well, I didn't like it. Um, you know, if you know you're used to the Halo whatever franchise, you know you go uh, go into Halo Five, you know whatever you know sprinting whatever but it doesn't need you know in the past you know series you know for the br you know you could scope in you know we don't need this aiming down the site bullshit and then they're like how can we ruin the halo franchise oh let's go to advanced warfare and have like i know when you're in full running you know boost or whatever you can hit b you know like lunge left right for what whatever i mean advanced warfare there uh, when you're in the air, if you're aiming down the sights, you hover, you know, advanced warfare. Um, what, what else am I missing? There's some mounts. Uh, you can slide on the ground. Um, oh, yeah, when you're also in the air, full running boost, you can pound the ground from the air. Yep. Call of Duty. That's a Call of Duty. Yeah. Um, <laughs> the well. controls, Call of Duty. Um, no, no, no. Yeah. There's two. The first controls are Call of Duty. Then there's Light another Call of Duty. Okay, maybe not Call of Duty. Battlefield, but there's fish stick controls Call of Duty. Um, okay, all right. But what else? Um, and then when you're aiming down the sights, when you get shot, I mean, you know, you unscope or whatever. But you know, when you're a Call of Duty player, you know, you you think you're playing Call of Duty. If you're holding the left trigger and someone's shooting you, your gun looks. You feel like you're retarded. You know. Your gun is like trying to scope in and out like six times while you're getting shot. It looks stupid, but you're used to that Call of Duty, thinking you're playing Call of Duty. Mm -hmm. Mm -hmm. So you're going to automatically keep on holding the left trigger. You know, not all people hate that it's uh, that it's more like Call of Duty. Am I right, Klaus? Yeah, I gotta say, it's actually going to bring me into the Halo franchise because the other Halos, I wasn't a big fan of the multiplayer's. Um, this one I'm actually kind of liking, and I think, you know, some of the reason probably that they decided to do it that way is because it would help them out with, like, players that are, want to be like MLG, like Call of Duty MLG and, and stuff like that, so I think it's like a transition for that, for this mm -hmm. generation. Because mm -hmm. Halo at one point, at the beginning, you know, Halo 2, Halo 3, was big in competitive scene, and then the Call of Duty franchise got really popular, and then Battlefield made a good transition over to console, and then, you know, Twitch happened, so everybody can play anything. And then Halo kind of, like, fell off in the competitive scene, but I think you're right, Clowns. I think this is going to get them back in the competitive scene, because it's, it's more like Call of Duty. <laughs> um, yep. Um, I'm definitely a fan of it so far. And I've only played two matches. Yeah, I've played... I'd say I've played like six matches, maybe. And, um... I've got to say I'm a fan. But I'm also a fan of the MCC multiplayer. So, um... <coughs> you know, I... I like both of them. And both of them have their strengths. And both of them have their weaknesses. But I think that this is the future... This game style is the future of, of shooters, and I think, like, not looking down the sights for your guns, I, that's weird for me in Halo to look down the sights of your guns, but not looking down the sights of your guns, you're kind of just like, come on, this is 2014, you know, let me look down the sight to, to get a pinpoint aim or something, you know? Um, but then they have those people that are like, well, it's Halo, it's supposed to be nostalgic, leave it so you don't aim down the sight. Um, the video showing turtle with some DMRs here, which I absolutely hate that they have in the game. Um, what did you guys think of the guns? Like, the balance, the feel? Um, sniper rifles feel too overpowered. Sniper yeah. rifles have always been OP a little bit. True. Definitely true. Um, the BR looks stupid. With the little scope thingy on, on the top just looks stupid. Yeah, I don't like the new redesign for the BR. I ha I have this feeling that they're just gonna change it because it does look stupid and it, it, it is 11 months from release so this game is far from going gold. Um, yep. But 
what else is there to say about Halo? Halo 5, anything? The two maps were, I can't remember the names of the two maps, but... <coughs> um, one of them was a remake of a Halo 2 map, I believe. Or maybe it was Halo 3. Um, yeah, so... The pistol's back. The pistol's back in full form and overpowered as always. I love the pistol on Halo. Um, I don't think there's really anything else to say about Halo, is there? Um, take, take away all the exo abilities. No, dude, you can't do that. You can't do that. That's uh, gonna be that is, that's the future of the game. I feel. I don't think I don't think the exo abilities are going anywhere. No. I, I just don't see a need for them. What's what's worse for the, what's worse for those abilities? The floating in the air or the dashing? Yeah. Uh, I I feel like they're both gonna be abused one way or another. Okay. You gotta pick pick one pick one that you would like that would be okay to leave in the game. Uh, the dashing, the the staying in the air. I feel. Oh man, I, I'm gonna go with dashing just because it's probably not as annoying. I haven't seen anyone to use it yet, so I can't really say much. Found you got a way. You want to weigh in on this? Um, I didn't really pay attention to the guns to be honest with you. I just went in and just jumped around and shot people and threw grenades. Gotcha. So typical, typical Halo fare. I feel like grenades are flying just like they were in Halo Three. Um, Turtle, what do you think? Um. About the uh, what about the abilities? I mean, you already answered about the guns, so. Well, if if you had to leave, if you were okay with leaving one of the abilities, which would it be? I'm really not sure because like. I don't know much about Halo, so I don't know like what's been in past games or what's new in this one. Yeah. So I don't really know like what the abilities are. Yeah, um, that's true. I mean, like, I bet you not all the abilities are in the beta yet. Um, mm. Oh. Maybe maybe floating in the air will be one of the weaker ones when we find out what all the rest of the abilities are. Yeah, you were asking uh, about the two maps, the yeah. names. They are Truth and Empire. Truth and Empire, right, yeah. And it's a remake of the Halo 4 map, not Halo 3. Um, mm -hmm. So says Diabolic in the chat. Thank you for that. Um, yeah. Other than that, I think that's it for Halo 5 stuff. We're going to be playing it a lot this weekend, I'm sure. Assassin won't be because he hates it. Um, but uh, we will be enjoying it, and I'm sure we'll have our thoughts either on Xbox Culture or on uh, on Twitter. So look out for those. Um, what else? What else? What else? That's it for Early Access stuff. Let's mm -hmm. talk about some new... Oh, let's talk about the GTA update first. Do that before we get to new releases. Um, GTA update, the holiday update, like they always do. Um, they call it festive surprise this year. Um, so for a limited time, only until January 5th, you will be able to enjoy some snow on the map, finally. On certain days. Only on certain days on at certain, certain days. times. Um, kind of like in real life, you gotta wait for the snow, it's not just covering the entire map in snow, uh, permanently. Um, what else? They've got some new gear, they've got ugly Christmas sweaters, um, some like holiday pajamas, gingerbread masks, stuff like this. Assassin finally got his hands on a hat, he was looking for the hats everywhere, he couldn't find them. Did you yep. find a hat? You found a hat eventually. I yeah. found a hat, but I was looking for more and more of those, uh, you know, winter hats. Not like, you know, you know what I'm saying? Uh, it's hard to explain, but all I've kept on seeing was elf hats and Santa hats. I'm like, just yeah, want regular hat. snow, you know, no, it's winter not hat. What are you going to, what do you think? They're just going to have something that keeps you warm, dude? It's for show. It's for the holidays. I know, but I, I had a, I had, you know, I had some boots on, 
I had some sweater leggings. I had an ugly sweater. Oh. I had a scarf. And now I have a Santa hat. Like, can't you just give me a regular hat? Just had the best idea. I'm going to reinstall GTA 5 while this is going on. Put on some shorts. Take off my shirt and go four wheeling on the beach. Alright. <laughs> In the snow. In the snow. Mm. Um. What else? What else? What else? Um. They've got four new vehicles. I'm not gonna go into detail about them, but um, you can grab those and have those permanently. Those aren't special time only. Um. You've got some new guns. The homing missile oh. launcher looked really cool. Uh, for those people that piss you off and online, but they're coming by with their drive-by helicopter attacks, you can take them Assassin. Out. Yeah, someone did that to me today, but not with the rocket launcher, with the jet. Oh. I, I saw a video of some, somebody showed off them using the homing missile launcher, which is essentially like the stinger in Battlefield. Locks on, same kind of way. Pull the trigger and they're done. One, one hit and they're gone. So I think it's pretty cool. It looks pretty cool. We've also got that proximity mine, um, which are kind of smart in that they only take out like enemies. So, if, um, for instance, if like just a regular pedestrian ran over it, it's not gonna blow up. But if the cops do, it'll blow up. Kind of thing. Um, what else am I missing? Anyone? Bueller. Uh, I think that was that. <clears throat> um, no, there's more. They've got holiday crate drops. It's kind of like Hunger Games. It's like you're out there in the battlefield, and if you will, um, in online free roam, and you get uh, like an ammo or a, a gun crate that'll drop um, until January fifth. And um, it contains like some old gear, some new gear. So that's kind of cool. Um, also, until the fifth, you will have the um, be able to get the firework rocket launcher, so you can launch fireworks. Mm. So I thought that was kind of cool. But too bad you, you can't keep that. Huh? Oh. Too bad you can't keep that. No, I know. Yeah, you can keep it. Yeah. But on special days, Christmas Eve, Christmas Day, New Year's Eve, New Year's Day, I believe it is, you are you will get free ammo for those. Free ammo, and you'll be able to get one of those guns for free on those days. But other days, if you want to use them, you're going to have to buy that stuff. Um, other than that, I don't think there's anything else in the GTA thing. Anybody have anything to say about it? No. Oh, they added tattoos, but they're not festive -y. What are they like? They're nothing to do with the holidays whatsoever. Um, I, I can't even really explain it. They added color to some of them, which is kind of nice, but nothing <coughs> for the holidays. Gotcha. All right, well, that's GTA. We got some talk in the chat about Heist finally coming. I'll believe it when I see it on that. But they did yeah. make a formal announcement, and they did have a trailer video for them, so I guess that's the closest they've actually come to releasing them. <laughs> so maybe they are actually coming. Um, I look forward to those. Um, oh, did you mention I, I might have not been paying attention or not, but um, did you mention that there's going to be a Christmas Day gift under the tree on no, GTA no, Online. No, I didn't. Yeah, yeah, that's another thing, yeah. The Christmas Day, uh... Yeah, you got a tree in your apartment and there's get and there'll be gifts under it that add to your inventory. I think that's kind of cool. Mm. Sign on Christmas Day, go open your virtual <laughs> gifts. I'm going to have to re-download GTA now. Just to get your gift, yep. Yeah. <laughs> Mom, so what was that game? You probably know that people used to, like, pay real money for real estate in it. You know what I'm talking about? It's called, like, Second Life or something like that. It's like a PC game. No, I never played that. Uh, it's called something like that. I can't remember the name. You know what I'm talking about, Taylor? Yeah, I, I don't remember the name, but I know what you're talking about. People, people paid, like, hundreds of thousands of dollars in real money for, like, apartments on this game because they had, like, pool, pools and, like, all this other crazy shit. It was, like, penthouse apartments selling for real money. 
I think it was called like Second Life or something, but that's kind of what this reminds me of. Mm -hmm. um, <coughs> are we going to talk about the Evolve new monster? Uh, not this week, I don't think. But when it gets closer, we probably will talk more about Evolve. There was uh, some more Evolve news. What? That uh, uh, Xbox exclusive beta for January 15th and all your progress goes towards the game. When it releases. Ooh. Alright, when that gets closer, we'll talk more about that, I think. Um, but for right now, we're not going to talk about Evolve because we got a few other things we get through before we end it. Um, Alright, so for DLC that came out this week, um, the biggest one would be the Horizon 2 Storm Island expansion. Um... We all have it, so I think we can all talk about it. Um, it's 20 bucks, by the way, so it's kind of on the steep side, um, in my opinion. What do you guys think? Worth 20 or is it too much money? Uh, too I much. Would, I think it's worth it if you're a fan of Forza. Well, if you're a huge fan of Forza, if you have VIP, it's only 10 Definitely, Definitely worth it then, too. Right. I was saying on my stream a couple days ago that I I was I was trying to convince myself that it was worth twenty because I did pay that twenty for it, but I don't think it's necessarily worth twenty. So I w I would go as high as maybe fifteen, maybe. Mm, um, still too much for me. But t ten bucks, ten bucks definitely. What don't you like about a turtle other than the fact that it's small? I mean, it is small. It's fifty. It's only like fifty new roads. So that's a sixth of the original map. It had three hundred, about three hundred roads. So, what what else don't you like about it? Um, it, to me, it just feels like they they messed up some of the physics on the cars, like just to simulate the extreme weather. Maybe they just went a little overboard on. How much? How far you can slide when breaking? Mm -hmm, mm -hmm. Yeah, I mean, initially I didn't think that was an issue when I was playing solo, but in multiplayer that pisses me off too. I see where you're coming from there. Um, but um, I think it's. I don't know if they tried too hard to make it seem like the effects were realistic, because visually, it looks real, like, the, the, the trees bend, the, the, the leaves that blow around, um, it's really stormy, for lack of a better word, um, but I think Turtle's right when he says that it may be a little too much on the, on the slippery side, uh, for a lot of the cars, and they do this update, um, does come with some new um, tires and drivetrains and suspension and stuff like that to make driving off-road easier for you so um, keep that in mind when you're considering the price because that could be an advantage for online play on the older maps um, because they really the tires do really add a lot more grip even on even on the streets um, so I like it because it's such a it's such a fresh change. You go from was Horizon Two like when it first came out, they wanted you to 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 go off road. They wanted to free you, not keep you on the road. And then this is like the extreme of that. This is kind of like taking it to a new level. You thought that it was crazy before with Horizon Two, and you go through cornfields and off road and through hills and through trees and stuff. But now this is like just craziness. So that's what I like about it. And the fact that it added 24 new championships on top of the god knows how many in the other one. Um, Hundreds. Six, so, <laughs> yeah. So, yeah, a ton. But 24 championships will keep you entertained for, you know, a good amount of time. So, it's not a short DLC, even though it's a small map. Um, what do the other guys have to say about it, Anna? It's a ton of fun. Um, I love off roading; it's my favorite, and it's all ninety nine percent of it is off roading. So I mean, plus I love storms. Yeah, you know, I'm, I'm one of those weirdos who will just look out the window and watch the storm. You know, yeah, I, I, that's what I you know just like to see and hear the rain and 
driving through it's nice and seeing it. So for a storm lover like yourself, does it look does it look the part? Is it realistic? Uh, I haven't played much, so I mean I can't really say much, but I, it, the the game just looks beautiful. Yeah, I would say it looks kind of realistic, especially like in the intense nighttime storms and in the fog. Yeah, yep. Especially in uh, the cockpit view, the first person. Oh, the cockpit view is virtually for me. And I'm a big Forza guy. It's it's like unraceable for me. I can't even. I cannot do it. Especially in the dark tracks, like you cannot see mm-hmm. ten feet in front of your face. In co- especially in cockpit view. Um, I don't know how you did it, Turtle. I didn't. <laughs> yeah. <laughs> crazy. Um, apparently in the chat we're talking about Sassy the Giraffe and Idarb. Yep, I just oh, I yeah. just made it. I just made it. Nice, nice. <laughs> yep, and Mike has already Mike from Idarb has already uh, favorited. Nice. Nice, nice. Yeah, Idarb's fun, dude. We're gonna get into that, I think. The only one who hates it really is Cody. He played it for five minutes. I know he's not watching, I wish he could. Enough. But he, he, he was the only one who really hated it. Yeah. Um, so yeah, that's Forza Horizon 2. Clowns, do you have anything to say about Horizon 2 DLC? Did you even play it at all? Or? I, I did, yeah. Uh, you know, to get into it, I, um, I don't like a lot of the off-roading because I don't think my cars are spec for it. Right. But I, I think the mechanics are amazing. I think the weather is fantastic. Yeah. Um, it's just going to take a little bit for me to get used to because I'm not a big driving simulator yeah. type guy. Um, other than that, though, 20 bucks. I'd say it's definitely worth it if you're into that game because it gives you a solid more, um, what was it, like 11 uh, championship races? No, just 20, to 24. 24 championship races. 24? Holy crap. I thought it was 11. <laughs> so, yeah, it's definitely worth it. That's less than a dollar a race. Right, and that's not, dude, that's not even considering the races because each of the championships have like four, three to four races. Yep, so, absolutely. So that's like almost a hundred race. I mean, I I definitely, uh, something about the two zero. I think it's the actual number itself more uh, more than the money for some reason. Even me from thinking that it's worth twenty bucks exactly, but I don't know. I I'm loving it. I think it's awesome. Um, so definitely, I think you should definitely check it out. And clowns, like you said, isn't a huge racer. And he liked it, so I mean that says a lot. Um, mm. I don't think there's anything else really to say about it. Oh, there are some new cars. It gives you some new cars. The car right off the bat, spoiler alert, gave you a car, um, a truck right off the bat. So, not a huge spoiler, but. Um, and some of the cars that you had previously purchased in the original game come to you free in this one through all new barn finds and um, bucket list challenges that come with the DLC as well. So, kind of sucks for Cody, who bought a car and spent a lot of money on it, and mm-hmm. I just got it for free the other day. So, sucks, <laughs> sucks to be Maverick. <laughs> Whatever he goes on here. I don't know what his Twitch name is. I think it's Maverick, but sucks mm-hmm. to be you. Um, he did kick my ass in the drag race with that thing, though. Um... Um, Alright, so just a few new releases and then we're out of here. Um, Turtle's favorite game we'll talk about first. It came out right after our show last week. Gianna Sisters. Very fun. Um, 15 bucks. Tell us a little bit more about it. Um, I'm not sure about the story because there's... So far, I haven't seen any kind of like cut scenes or heard anyone talking. Yeah. So from what I've gotten from it so far is that it's like fairy tale or something like. I uh, there's like a dark sister and like what's referred to as the cute sister. So you just like alternate, and like each one has like a like their own gems that they can pick up and they're own ways of passing obstacles 
like one will make the floors like a floor solid and the other will make it where you pass through it to make it easy to get to like secret areas. I, when you were streaming it earlier, I liked the look of it a lot. Um, you said it, and I and I agree with it, and I think Clowns agree with it too. That it looked a lot like Rayman. Mm -hmm. The earlier games. The earlier Rayman ones, yeah. Mm -hmm. um, but Clowns brought up a good point. I wanted to say it on the show about the price of the game, um, and why he doesn't think it's worth fifteen bucks. Clowns. Yeah, it's just it's not something that's really like established as a franchise yet and I think that's you know the price range is kind of pushing it a little bit um, until people are more familiar with it and know more about it um, as a title in itself I will say that the game is very very hard so if you're looking for a challenging game then it is oh. that's like the game to get I vaguely remember Turtle you saying that the levels mm -hmm. were the, the levels were too short at, at first. I said the levels were short. I never said anything about the difficulty. Okay, alright, okay, <laughs> alright. Assassin, I know you love Genesis. Isn't? Yeah. Ooh. Come on, you love it. I would get it for my nephews. I think I think for kids it would be fun. No offense, Turtle. Um, <laughs> but I think, I think Turtle's got a point where... You know, in the later levels, it's just too difficult for our young kids. I mean, if Turtle Turtle's a seasoned gamer, so mm -hmm. if he's having trouble with it, then it may be a little too difficult for kids. But it looks cool. The graphics look amazing on it. The colors and everything. Um, so for fifteen dollars, that could be yours. I tend to agree with Clowns that it's a little too much money, especially for a franchise that is not established as Clowns alluded to. Um, that's Gianna Sisters. Now, these three can certainly talk about the next game, Risk. Oh, uh, God. $15. It came out on Tuesday and has disappeared from the store. Ain't that right, boys? <laughs> yep. yep. Nowhere yeah, to be found, yeah, and servers are down. That's confirmed? Yep. Did somebody confirm that? What? The, um, Microsoft the responded down? and... S and said that they're working with Ubisoft to get it back up. Like, what the hell? It's also not on the store. On the marketplace. Right, you click on the store link, and it's just gone. Yeah, but um, if I go to my games and apps, and select it and go to see in store, then I can access the store page that way. Right. And everything is there. Leaderboards, images, everything. But... It's not on the, like accessible through the store for anyone. Right, right. So only if you've downloaded it prior to yesterday at around midday are you able to see all that stuff. Otherwise, there's no store listing. There's almost no record of it even being released other than Major Nelson's blog. Mm -hmm. And um, Hans, I know you've downloaded the Hasbro Game Store. Is it even on there still or no? No, it says coming soon. Ah, okay, so... So uh, I'm thinking maybe they either had a last-minute glitch with the game, which I didn't see any while playing, or they just released it too early. Right. Um, the assassin's shaking his head over there, because I know what he's thinking. I think he was the one who, who said it before. They're going to release this in, a, in like a triple pack and make it cheaper. Is that why you're shaking your head, or is it some other? I um, I, I don't know why it, it's down. I mean, since it's down, they they should, you know, give it, you know, a refund of money back and let us keep the game, or give us, you know, fifteen dollars to do what, you know, buy another Ubisoft game season pass, or give us the rest of their their games for free. You know, if we bought, because we all bought Monopoly, like maybe if. Since we bought Monopoly and Risk, they should just give us the rest of their games that are coming up free or something. Right. Since it's, it, I mean, it's not that fun playing against AI. I mean, because you can, you know, it's super easy right. to destroy an AI. Um, Diabolic says in the chat, um, 
an accidental leak. Well, I, the reason I don't think it's an accidental leak is because Major Nelson himself put it on his blog. Yep. Saying that it released, so I tend to think that that's not the case. Yes, but you can can't you on some blogs make timers for posts to go up? So you think they decided potentially decided to scrap it or not scrap it, but push it back at the last second, and Major Nelson's blog just had an auto post ready to go? Yeah. Well, that's possible. All right, I'll get I'll I'll bite on that theory. How long was the game up before they took it down? Like a Tuesday. Tuesday. Like a day, right? Tuesday yeah. midday to Wednesday midday. No. No, I wasn't there Wednesday morning. All right, so it was gone. It was down, not even twenty four hours after. So, uh, and all three, you guys got it <laughs> in that little amount of time. Um, with that fiasco aside, is is it good? Like, is it worth fifteen yes. bucks? Yes. Mm-hmm. It, yeah. Definitely. You also find out who your real friends are. <laughs> Right, I think everyone was was everyone beating up on clowns in that game, or was it assassin everyone was beating up on? Uh, me. Oh, you oh, you can tell in his voice he was salty about it. <laughs> um, I don't play Risk, so I'm not gonna pick this one up. But for 15 bucks, you will be able to get your hands on Risk pretty soon, I'm guessing. Um, I, I think you would like Inferno. Like I've never even played Risk, and uh, I've destroyed these guys twice. Oh, not wow. even knowing what I'm doing. You guys hearing this trash talk? Do you have a response to that? None. Oh. No response. Because they, oh. they just got to accept it, right? No, I was like America and uh, everyone out needed aid and or Cody. <laughs> and I just wiped everyone off. Um, Diabolic says maybe it's region lock if you try different regions. Uh, we haven't tried that. Um, but... I'm guessing since Mike, these guys say that Microsoft themselves acknowledge that there's an issue, I'm guessing that it's not up anywhere. So, I think we're just going to have to play the waiting game until they patch it or whatever the hell's wrong with it. And um, they'll get it back up because, according to these guys, it was a finished product, essentially. Mm-hmm. Mm-hmm. Um, that's Risk. Got a couple more and then we'll be out of here. We got Kalimba. Um, the $10 that came out... <coughs> yesterday two days ago um kalimba i don't know anything about to be completely honest um public that's a microsoft uh game studios publication though developed by press play um you know anything about kalimba turtle or Mm, nothing anybody no i don't really really know much about it i don't want to pretend we know anything about it so we're just gonna put it out there and say uh, I think Hugo has a review copy for uh, for XboxCulture.com, so check that out for uh, for a review coming pretty soon for that. Um, but I don't really know a lot about it. It's ten bucks. Go look at the go look at the videos for it. Um, I really can't say anything about it, but want to announce that it was out. I honestly have never heard of it until like two days ago. Right? Yeah, me neither. I didn't even know it was coming out. Either. And then all of a sudden you see it in the store and you're just like, what the hell is this? Mm-hmm. Um, it's a game that everyone knows, I think. Everyone on the planet the games. Um, Tetris yeah. is now on that. next gen. Tetris Ultimate. Um, it's $10. What is this other than Tetris, though? So. I actually don't know. I just know it's Tetris. Yeah, it's just Tetris. And that I want it. It's ridiculous. <laughs> I think it's overpriced. There's four-player multiplayer, though. Mm, um, that could be cool. fun. Yeah, that could be really cool. Um, Ten bucks, clowns? I can go out and get the Game Boy version of Tetris for maybe 50 cents. <laughs> yeah, you know, too much for me. Yeah, dude, this is an Ubisoft cash cow, I feel. Uh, a little bit. Um... For ten bucks, they sh- I think they should have made this five bucks. I think that I think I might have bought it for five just to have Tetris. If it was five, I'd be playing it right now. <laughs> right. Um. But, I mean, it looks cool. It, I mean, I don't. I feel like an idiot saying this, but the graphics look good. I guess. I mean, it's crisp. It's sharp. Um. But I don't know really what it has to offer other than what everyone has been offering. In Tetris games for the past twenty years or whatnot, um, 
more if you go to the Game Boy versions. So, that's Tetris Unlimited, uh, Ultimate rather. And last but not least, the deals with gold for this week. Um, you've got Magic the Gathering at $5, which is 50% off. We have Evil Within, $30 at 50% off. We have Thief, oldie, but some people say goodie, most people say naughty. Um, $13.20, and that's 67% off. And then, curiously, we got two Ubisoft game bundles that are holiday bundles only for this week. Uh, the crew bundled with Far Cry and the crew bundled with Unity. Each of those two packs are $90, which is 25% off. Um, so what do we think about the deals this week? Yay or nay? I think the Ubisoft bundles are great if you don't own either game. <clears throat> yep. Problem with me with the Ubisoft bundle is the Unity one, kind of weak. I think the Unity one should have been a little bit cheaper than the Far Cry one. Far Cry one Shooter of the Year, Unity won nothing. So, mm -hmm. Far Cry, I think, the crew and Far Cry for $45 each, I think that kind of commands that kind of price, and looking at that, that's a good deal. Um, after playing the crew this week, there's no chance I'd get it. But if the crew were good, um, I probably would have bought that bundle. But, but the Unity, what? But but yeah. the crew, unlike Unity, the crew actually works. Right, exactly. So the Unity bundle, yeah. the game doesn't work for, for a lot of people. Some people say it does. Um, they released updates to fix it, and some people are reporting that update works. Um, but you're seeing Unity sell for thirty dollars left and right. Some people have it for twenty five dollars. They were giving it away with consoles. Um, so. 90 bucks for a bundle with a bad racer, in my opinion. Turtle likes it, but... Um, well, not that great racer. It's got a decent story, but mechanics are not great. And Unity it doesn't work for a lot of people, and has been called one of the worst you know, Assassin's Creed releases in a while. Um, I think it's one of the worst <laughs> video game releases in a while. Yeah. Definitely. Right, so because when did that come out? That came out, what, the 11th of November? Or around yep. there? Or the 11th? Halo Day. 11th? Not, um, oh, was it Halo Day? Yeah, it must yep. have been. I think it was uh, Halo Day, so 11 11. Mm -hmm. We're more than a month down the road, and that game for a lot of people is still broken as hell. So, um, that deal, I don't think is that great. I think you can get better deals elsewhere on that one, to be honest. Bakari and the Crew one, if you like those two games, definitely recommend it. Assassin picked that one up. Yeah. Um, if you bought the crew or Far Cry recently digitally and you want to get in on this deal, definitely contact Microsoft Support because um, that's what Assassin did and he was able to get a refund because of this deal. Um, but, I mean, you would have had to have bought these two games like, the past couple days. Yep, for uh -huh. sure. Probably within <laughs> a, less than a week. Um... Anyone have anything to say about the other three deals? I don't play Magic the Gathering, so I don't know if that's worth it for five bucks. Probably. I thought about, for five dollars, I thought about getting it and just like learning, maybe try to get into it. Yeah. It could also be a games with gold type game. The, what was it, 2013, 14 was free on yeah. here. So. See, that's what See? I'm scared of. I'm going to, I know as soon as I get this for five dollars, it's going to be free. Right. Um, Evil Within I, I picked that up on Black Friday a lot of people had that on sale so that's matching a lot of people's Black Friday deal uh, deals for that game um, we were talking about this a little off air uh, graphics not so great on that one they're okay um, a lot of people say they love it and some people say they hate it these guys weren't too big of fans right no. you guys completed it did you both beat it that's I did assassin. I don't think Klaus, did you play Evil Within at all? No, haven't played it yet. No, he hasn't played it. Right. Um, but Turtle and Assassin, you guys played it. Mm -hmm. um, mm -hmm. Did you both beat it? Nope. I did. Yeah, Turtle, did I, play, I played maybe 40 minutes of it and deleted it. Right, so, tur so that's obvious where Turtle stands on that one. And Assassin, uh, at 30 bucks, Assassin? 
Mm, no, I I want to say yes because it it is a Bethesda game, but it's it's gonna be a no. It's just know. one of those I'm games just, I'm just getting you into it. play and forget. You play and forget, yeah, not memorable. So, I don't know, because it got decent reviews, and a lot of people were streaming it when it first came out, and it looked good on stream, but when you play it on your own TV, you notice all the graphic imperfection, graphical imperfections, and I hate to say it, but for a game like that, it kind of it kind of distracts you. Now, I'm not one to be a graphics you know, perfectionist here, but in a game like that, it's distracting. Yeah, it's, one, it's one of those games, It's I mean, I don't mean to spoil it, but it's one of those games where they just spam huge guys who take a lot of damage, and then there's, like, no ammo. And it's like, okay, you know, thanks for the guys who take eight shotgun shells, but give me two shotgun shells, and then... That's it. Right, right. But you have to kill those guys. It's not. It's like one of those games you have to kill everyone before you move on, right, usually. Right, So it's like, okay, so I beat them with my fists. I mean, nice. <laughs> I mean, or I, I guess you could take your crossbow and just repeatedly hit them, but you do, like, no damage just doing that, so. Right. So Thief is maybe, I guess. Yeah. I mean, uh, sorry, Evil Within. Thief... Thirteen no. twenty. I think they could. I think that's gonna be. That might be a free one. It better be a free. Sucks. Who played it? Clowns. Clowns. Did you play Thief? Uh, yeah, a little bit, and then I immediately took it out. Yep. <laughs> oh my god. Yeah. So Thief, not so great, but if, I guess if you're desperate for something to play, thirteen twenty will do it for you. Well, I downloaded the demo for Thief back when it was released, and I didn't even finish the demo. Yeah. Yeah, we've got a friend of the podcast, Zave Blazin, shout out to him, um, who is a big fan of Thief, and um, I think he's the only person I've ever heard that said it was good, yeah. to be quite honest. Um, everyone else that I've talked to said it was garbage, but... Thirteen twenty, I guess, would be a desperate. That's not a lot for a game, so check that out. I guess. Um, I wanted to end the show with um, <coughs> my capture card, but I didn't have an HDMI cable, so I couldn't do that. But um, you guys, if you have an Xbox One, you may or may not have noticed that there is a new section on the home screen called the Holiday Sale. And there's a different game on sale every day. So today it's Murdered Soul Suspect. And that is $16.50, which is 67% off. Um, but if you didn't get in on one of the daily deals, you can actually go back and get the old ones. Um, for some reason, I can't see the old ones. Passed off. Uh, okay. So Outlast yesterday was, what, 8 bucks? Yeah, it was 8 yep. Um, Boston Quest a couple days ago was 14 oh wait no how much was Boston Quest a couple days ago I think like 13 oh look at this I'm at the I'm at the holidays um, section and only yesterday's deal you can get yep. are you kidding oh no that changed they changed that because that both of those other games were on sale yesterday yeah. You didn't know that? You didn't know that? I could have told you that. Oh, that would have been nice to know. Well, I thought you knew. No. Oh, I definitely do not know, because they were on sale yesterday. Yeah, today's the last chance to get Outlast for $8. Oh, so I guess you can only get the day before the mm -hmm. deal. So, Outlast uh, is 8 bucks. so jump on that if you're watching now, if you want to get it. Um... But yeah, they're gonna have a deal every day until 2015. So they they announced tomorrow's. <laughs> What's tomorrow's? Uh, for Xbox One, it's Metro Redux bundle, 33 percent off, and then for the 360, it's Last Light and Saint Row Four at 55 percent off, 66 percent off each. Gotcha. And what are the prices? Um, they 
I'm just looking at Major Nelson's blog. It doesn't tell prices. No. But so the Metro Redux, if it's 33% off, it's probably like around the $33 range, something like that, mm -hmm. for the bundle, um, if my math is correct. Individual games, I believe, are $24.99 regularly, so that, yeah. So, so what, like? $17, something around there. Mm, maybe. I don't know. My math is not good, my friend. Mm. Um... So yeah, other than that, I think that's it. Anything else you wanted to mention? Assassin always comes up with these things at the end of the show that he wants to mention. About the new apps. Just oh, a quick new, mention. The new apps, quick mention for those. Pandora, I guess that's cool. I don't yep. use Pandora anymore. I used to use that back in the day when that was the only thing around. But um, a lot of people do still use that, so now you can get your Pandora app. You guys use Pandora? Anybody? No. No, but i am probably use it a little bit more, just... For more there. music options, <laughs> yeah, than what's on my phone. Um, and uh, Vivo for Vivo. music videos. Yep, so really easy access to music videos. Turtle uh, introduced me to some interesting uh, artists yesterday on the Vivo app. Um, <laughs> so I was able to check those out. Um, for all you Spanish speakers, you can get the Telemundo channel now uh, app. And then Bravo now for the Bravo channel. Um, so, mm. yeah, I think other than that, I think that's it for Xbox News this week. We went over the uh, Go ahead, what? For apps, there was <laughs> also two more popcorn flits and the scene. The scene, I'm not sure what it is. And oh, popcorn yeah. flits, I think it's like indie movies or something. Yeah, I think they are indie movies. There's like only 1,500 movies and TV shows. Mm -hmm. They look like indies to me. They don't look like anything. Great. And I thought it was like Crackle initially, but it doesn't look like anything mainstream, really. The scene, it says original programming from Vogue, BuzzFeed, ABC News, Wired, GQ, Glamour, Vanity Fair, and more. Interesting. I've never heard of the scene. Mm -hmm. um, yeah, um, you can snap Pandora. Uh, Diabolic said in the chat. Just thought I'd um, throw that out. Yes, yes, yeah, you can snap Pandora. Um, that's cool. I'm still waiting for that Spotify app, but it'll never come because they. Uh, Direct competitor to Xbox Music, so I don't think that I'll ever see its face. Okay. It's possible, you know. But, who knows? I mean, we might see iHeartRadio, Spotify, who knows? Yeah. I mean, you said I mean, earlier that iHeartRadio was on um, yep, 360. I, yep, I use that a lot. Yeah, I would love a Sirius at Zoom app because I have a subscription to that and I use it on my tablet while I'm gaming. Oh, that'd be cool. Mm -hmm. That's definitely doable. That's not really yeah. a competitor. Yeah, what I would really love is uh, if you could, like, <laughs> not just snap it, but also have it playing in the background. Yeah. That, that would be nice. Because I know it's possible, because, like, if you look at the PS4 and Music Unlimited, it does it with that. So you can, like, play Music Unlimited in the background while playing a game. I'm dying for that with any of these apps. If Xbox Music had that, I would consider switching over. But Spotify is my thing. Mm -hmm. um, Diabolic in the chat it says we're on the same wavelength. Yeah, I love my Spotify, man. I love it. Um, and if I could get it on the Xbox, even if I had to snap that one, I would. But playing in the background would be clutch. <laughs> these music apps. Um, other than that, I think we're we're done here. Mm -hmm. Um, we went a little over, but next week, I don't know what we're going to do for the show next week, but look on our Twitter, 4GWQ Podcast, um, is our Twitter handle. Look on there for more accurate, um, time for next week's show. Maybe we'll take the week off because it's Christmas, I don't know, we haven't decided that yet, but we'll talk about that. Um, but thank you for coming and watching, thank you Turtle for filling in again. No problem. Um, Go check out Xbox Culture, go check out Turtle on Twitter and Twitch and all of his channels. Add him on Xbox, do all that jazz. Um, 
If you guys want to see more of our episodes from the past that you haven't watched live on Twitch, you can find them at uh, youtube.com slash four guys with quarters. Um, Assassin told me that that works, and I tried it, and it does. So I use on there as four guys with quarters. Um, and you can check out our website, which Clowns is doing a great job with. Um, we'll have some more reviews coming up pretty soon, but we posted some on there um, recently, so if you want to go check those out, please do. Um, there's one on there for, uh, what is it, D4 that Assassin did that got a lot of, uh, a lot of traction, a lot of views, so um, go check that out. And um, that's at 4 guys of quarters .com. that's our website, so. Um, yeah. So we're done, I think. Yep. See you guys later. Peace out. Bye. Bye. Later. <laughs>